Doom Loop. Doom Loop. Are you familiar with the term Doom Loop in San Francisco? Uh, Doom Loop uh, particularly applies to San Francisco. So the idea of a Doom Loop is, uh, you know, things are in, uh, let's say, uh, uh, in, a, in a city like San Francisco, uh, what you get is uh, maybe uh, you get a, uh, a, a COVID, and what, what happens with COVID is... Uh, downtown shuts down and people start working remotely, so therefore fewer people go into downtown, and that means that uh, you know people start um, businesses in downtown start uh, closing, um, and downtown deteriorates, and maybe homeless people move in, and uh, and as a consequence of that, now when people start opening up and wanting to come back to the office, they go whoa. I don't want to go back to San Francisco downtown because the stores have closed and the homeless have come in. So uh, maybe we'll, we'll, we'll go somewhere else. And uh, so that increases the, the kind of the stagnation of the downtown, which causes more stuff to close down, more homeless to come in and fewer people to move in and fewer new people to move into the city. And, and you get the spiral and it just gets worse and worse and worse. And it's hard to break it because it and of course part of this is the fact that businesses move out causes your tax revenue to go down and therefore you can't uh provide the uh, the, the the infrastructure you can't deal with a homeless problem the the if you can't deal with a homeless problem then again more companies leave and on and on and on it goes and san francisco is clearly experiencing uh, this kind of doom loop, particularly in its downtown. And with companies leaving uh, the city, uh, its tax revenue is declining significantly, not only companies, but of course, individuals as well. And uh, the explanation for this has been COVID. COVID caused this. COVID, uh, that's what stimulated all this. That's what got it going. That's what caused this to, to all happen. And there was an excellent article today in Pirate Wire, which I've referred to you uh, a number of times, about how uh, uh, it wasn't COVID. It wasn't COVID. Indeed, the beginning of the San Francisco Doom Loop started two years before COVID in 2018 with the passage of something called Proposition C. Proposition C. Prop C. A Prop C was hailed and uh, and and. and, and fought for by uh, the largest employer in San Francisco, the largest technology employer in San Francisco, Salesforce, the CEO of Salesforce, Mark Binioff. Mark Binioff is known as the probably the most progressive, explicitly altruistic, explicitly uh, guilt-ridden, explicitly pro-every social leftist agenda item out there in the world. Mark Binioff is part of that. He is the CEO, founder and CEO of Salesforce. He succeeded in spite of all that, which is a mystery. Uh, but he's all for social responsibility and DEI and everything, everything, right? Anyway, Mark Binioff really fought for Prop C. And Pro what Prop C did was Prop C was going to, uh, Prop C, the proposal was to double the revenue tax on companies based in San Francisco. So double the taxes on businesses but explicitly use all the new available revenue for one purpose and one purpose only, and that is to funnel it into a new department of homelessness and to solve the homeless problem. Prop C has raised about a billion dollars, a billion dollars for one city, San Francisco, to deal with one problem, the homeless problem, over the last five years. When a Prop C was passed, uh, a number of uh, tech executives fought it, including Patrick Collison from Stripe and Jack Dorsey from, Squ from Square, Jack Dorsey, the founder of, of, uh, of Twitter. Um, and um, uh, it was fought even by the mayor. Even the mayor said, this is a bad idea. But it passed anyway. And Mark Binioff, on the day it passed, uh, published this tweet. Prop C's victory means the homeless will have a home and help they truly need. Let the city come together in love for those who need it most. There is no finish line when it comes to helping the homeless. Thank you, amazing supporters of Propsy. So homeless will have a home. 
Well, five years after the passage of Prop C, a billion dollars spent on homelessness, the homeless problem is bigger than ever in San Francisco. More homeless in the street, more problems, and indeed the homelessness is a big part of this doom loop, although uh, another big factor of the doom loop and how it started was guess what happens when you dramatically raise taxes on businesses in your city? So even before COVID, in the years leading up to COVID, companies were already leaving San Francisco in large numbers and creating the so-called doom loop and creating the crunch of revenues for the city government that ultimately resulted in, uh, has resulted in the inability to deal with infrastructure and uh, the fact that companies are leaving, office buildings are empty, no revenue for restaurants and, and, uh, and retailers uh, in, in downtown, and on and on and on you go, right? All started not by COVID, but started by increased taxes, by increased taxes, increasing the taxes that were fought by many in the business community. But Mark Benioff and those who supported Mark won the day and, and they got it passed. Uh, now, we can talk about homelessness and why homelessness is such a huge problem in San Francisco, but certainly one of the problems of homelessness in San Francisco, there are many. Housing costs a big part of it, but there are many problems in San Francisco. But one big one is the fact that uh, San Francisco, like Los Angeles, provides homeless people with housing, free. Small houses, but houses. Guess what happens when you provide something for free? Uh, if you supply it for free, get guess what happens to demand for something that's supplied for free? It increases. So what's happened in San Francisco is not only is the cost of housing in San Francisco very high and has caused to some extent, homeless people in the, in the Bay Area. But add to that the fact that now if you're homeless in San Francisco, down the road, you will promise free housing. And, and real housing in an in a, in a, in a actual apartment. Well, homeless people or marginally homeless people from all over the state, maybe all over the country, are going to come to San Francisco and say, I'm here, where's my free apartment? The more stuff you offer for free, the more the demand for that free stuff is going to be there. So the homeless problem has only increased in San Francisco. The more money is being poured into providing homes for homeless people. And these are not temporary homes. These are permanent homes. And therefore, you know, you, people are going to flock to San Francisco to inhabit those, even if it means not today in the future. And this means drug addicts from all over the country are going to come to San Francisco to get not only the free treatment and easy access to drugs, but also easy access to real estate. And the same is true of the mentally uh, mentally ill. So San Francisco becomes a magnet for homeless people from all over the, the country, certainly all over the state. Uh, and the billions or the hundreds of millions of dollars stolen from San Francisco businesses is poured into providing these homeless people with residences but that mysteriously don't ever solve the homeless problem because the supply of homeless people never ends never ends keeps going so you need a solution to homeless problem a solution to homeless problem even if you take into account strong government involvement in it it would be quick and relatively cheap uh, and it would be uh, would involve making sleeping on the streets in San Francisco illegal and, and providing temporary shelter, not housing, shelter of homeless people in the outskirts of the city, in, in not very nice places, uh, in, in not in places uh, that offer easy access to drugs, and, um, and basically not give them free stuff. Make it expensive to be homeless in San Francisco, and you'll get less homeless people in San Francisco. Supply and demand, incentives, incentives actually work. Um, and, uh, you know, you can provide treatment centers. You can provide a lot for, for, the, for the drug addicts and so on. You can provide a lot at literally a fraction, a fraction 
of what San Francisco is spending right now on homeless. By the way, all this money is being funneled through a whole variety of non-for-profits, non-for-profits who, vote, uh, who lobbied for Proposition uh, C, a bunch of non-for-profits who, uh, uh, you know, who are, uh, uh, you know, maybe they've got good intentions, maybe they don't, who knows, but who basically are, are living off of this massive tax revenue, the non-for-profits getting fed by tax revenue, um, uh, by tax revenue. Note that the mayor of San Francisco is never for this. The progressive mayor of San Francisco is always against this. This is something that was brought and promoted by the nonprofits and got massive support by Binioff and, and certain business leaders in the community.